Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, there are many reasons to thank God for. And so as we celebrate this Holy Mass, let our hearts overflow with thanksgiving to God who has been so good and so gracious to us so that we may become less unworthy to receive Jesus in this Eucharist. Let us now be sorry for our sins. Let us beg God's forgiveness and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times, and the word of Elisha, the man of God. His flesh became again like a flesh of a little child, and he was clean of his leprosy. Naaman returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before Elisha and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except Israel. Please accept a gift from your servant. Elisha replied, As the Lord lives whom I serve, I will not take it. And despite Naaman's urging, he still refused. Naaman said, If you will not accept, Please let me, your servant, have two mule loads of earth, for I will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any other god except to the God, to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of change like a criminal. 
but the Word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus. Together with, he, with eternal glory, this saying is trustworthy. If we have died with Him, we shall also live with Him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with Him. But if we deny Him, He will deny us. If we are unfaithful, He remains faithful, for He cannot deny Himself. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two lessons we can derive from our readings this Sunday. The first lesson is this. If you are blessed, then give thanks. Kapag pinagpala ka, magpasalamat ka. This is obviously the lesson of our gospel today. Jesus healed ten lepers, but only one returned to give thanks. And Jesus noticed that. Jesus asked where the other nine who were also healed were. This only proves that ingratitude strikes to the heart. Pwedeng-pwede namang palampasin na yun ni Jesus. Baliwalain na yun ni Jesus. Pero dahil hinanapan niya yung siyam na hindi bumalik para magpasalamat, sinasabi sa atin na ang hindi pagtanaw ng utang na loob ay masakit din sa taong nagbibigay. 
at karanasan nating lahat yan. Alam natin kung paanong hindi mapasalamatan. Bagamat gumagawa tayo ng mga bagay nang hindi naman talaga umaasa na tayo'y kilalanin at pasalamatan, pero bahagi yata ng ating pagkatao na umasa pa din kahit papaano na tayo'y pasalamatan sa ating mabuting ginagawa sa iba. Ganyan ang nangyari kay Jesus. And this is also the story of our first reading today. Another foreigner, Naaman, a Syrian who was also a leper, was healed. And after he was healed, he returned to the prophet Elisha to give thanks. At sabi ni prophet Elisha, huwag ka sa akin magpasalamat. Magpasalamat ka sa Diyos. At bilang pasasalamat sa Diyos, nangako si Naaman, wala na akong ibang paglilingkuran kundi ang tunay na Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, if you are blessed, learn to give thanks. Kapag binigyan ka, huwag mo namang kalimutan yung nagbigay sa iyo. Kapag tinulungan ka, bumalik ka upang pasalamatan ang tumulong sa iyo. Matuto tayong tumanaw ng utang na loob. Palaging sinasabi ni Cardinal Chito Tagle, ang utang na loob hindi binabayaran. Ang utang na loob tinatanaw lang. Hindi ba sinasabi natin palagi yan? Hindi ko mababayaran ang ginawa mong kabutihan sa akin. Pero tinatanaw natin, binabalikan natin, inaalala natin. Let us learn to give thanks. And so we ask ourselves today, do we still know how to give thanks? Marunong ba tayong magpasalamat? Do we even know how to say thank you? Kapag may ginawa sa atin kahit simpleng bagay, inabot yung bayad natin sa driver ng jeep, binigyan tayo ng upuan, pinagbukas tayo ng pintuan, binigyan tayo ng tubig sa restaurant, do we even say thank you? No? Salamat. Marunong pa ba tayong magsabi ng salamat? And to God, do we still say thank you to God? Marunong ba tayong tumanaw ng utang na loob sa Diyos? That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, the Mass is very important because the Mass is a thanksgiving. The word Eucharist in Greek means thanksgiving. And so every Mass is a thanksgiving Mass. Sa bawat misa, nagpapasalamat tayo sa Diyos. And that is also the reason why at the beginning of the most important prayer of the Mass, the Eucharistic prayer, we say, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And you say, it is right and just. Tama lamang na magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. The Mass is the highest form and the best expression of our thanksgiving to God. That is the reason why we attend Mass, not only to beg for graces, but primarily to thank God. Tuwing tayo'y nagsisimba, nagpapasalamat tayo sa Diyos. Nag-aalay tayo ng pasasalamat 
sa kanyang kabutihan sa atin. We attend Mass, especially on Sunday, not just out of obligation, at sana hindi ganyan yung espiritu ng ating pagdalo sa misa. Magsisimba ako dahil obligasyon na magsimba. Sana yung ating dahilan kung bakit tayo nagsisimba ay dahil gusto nating magpasalamat sa Diyos. More than obligation, participating in the Mass is our way of thanking God who has been so good to us. Dumadalo sa misa upang tumanaw ng utang na loob. Ano ba naman yung isang oras sa buong isang linggo para magpasalamat sa napakaraming biyaya nating tinanggap nitong nakalipas na linggo? Ano ba naman yung isang oras na ibibigay natin sa Diyos para tumanaw ng utang na loob. Let us learn to give thanks because a person who does not know how to give thanks is a proud person. Ang hindi marunong magpasalamat, mayabang. Saying thank you is not just having good manners. To say thank you is also to be a Christian. Ang tunay na Kristiyano marunong magpasalamat at tumanaw ng utang na loob. If you are blessed, give thanks. The second lesson is this. If you are blessed, then become a blessing to others. That completes the cycle of gratitude. It is not enough that we just say thank you. If we receive a blessing, let us in turn become a blessing to others. Kapag tinulungan ka, tumulong ka din. Kapag naging mabuti sa iyo, naging mabuti ka rin sa iba. Kapag sinagot ng Diyos ang dasal mo, maging sagot ka rin sa dasal ng iba. Kapag pinagpala ka, maging pagpapala ka sa iba. Yan ang kabuuan ng tunay na pasasalamat. In our second reading today, St. Paul in his letter to Timothy talks about the essence of his mission. Ano ba ang dahilan ng kanyang pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos? And St. Paul reveals to us something very profound. He tells us that he shares the Word of God to others because he also received it as a blessing to his life. Dahil tinanggap niya si Jesus bilang biyaya, gusto rin din niyang ibahagi si Jesus sa kanyang kapwa bilang biyaya. Yung biyayang tinanggap natin, hindi dapat sarilinin, dapat ibahagi sa iba. That is true thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters, if we are blessed, let us become a blessing. Ang tunay na pasasalamat na ipapakita natin, hindi lamang sa pagsasabi ng thank you, kundi sa pagbabahagi ng biyaya sa kapwa para sila din makapagsabi sa Diyos ng thank you. And let that be the invitation to all of us. Be the reason why someone will thank God today. Maging dahilan ka upang may taong magpapasalamat sa Diyos sa araw na ito. Dahil sa pamamagitan mo, naramdaman ng taong ito ang biyaya, pagkalinga, at pagmamahal ng Diyos. Ang tunay na pasasalamat 
pinapasa din sa iba ang biyaya. Hindi ba minsan maririnig natin sa mga magulang kapag pinapasalamatan sila ng kanilang mga anak, sasabihin ng mga anak, salamat po sa ginawa ninyong sakripisyo para sa amin. Salamat po dahil pinalaki, pinalaki ninyo kami ng maayos. Salamat sa lahat ng ginawa ninyo para sa amin. At ano pala madalas ang tugon ng mga magulang? Ang tunay na pasasalamat mo sa akin ay papakita mo kapag ikaw naman ang naging magulang. Kapag magulang ka na, maging mabuting magulang ka rin sa mga anak mo. Yon ang pasasalamat mo sa amin. That is true gratitude. I remember one old priest, an alumnus of our seminary, San Carlos Seminary in Guadalupe, Makati. Every year, on our alumni homecoming, this priest would donate a huge amount for the fund that helps poor seminarians in their studies. Palagi po kasing merong isang table doon sa registration area pag kami nag-aalumni homecoming. Kung sino ang gustong magbigay ng tulong para doon sa pondo na ginagamit para sa mga seminaristang hindi kayang tustusan ng kanilang pamilya ang pagpapaaral sa seminaryo. Ang tawag namin, Poor Seminarians Fund. And this old priest would always give every year a sizable amount, 200,000, 300,000 donation for this fund. At minsan natanong namin sa kanya, Father, ang laki naman ang binibigay mo. Sabi niya, alam niyo, iniipon ko ito buong taon. Kasi naging pari ako dahil may nagpaaral sa akin. Kaya nung naging pari ako, pinangako ko sa sarili ko na tutulong din ako sa pagpapaaral ng mga seminaristang magiging pari. A complete cycle of thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters, two lessons for us this Sunday. If you are blessed, give thanks. If you are blessed, be a blessing. Please all stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God gives us so much the life of grace, healing, pardon. But we take Him for granted. We forget to thank Him. Let us now bring our intercessions before Him today in a spirit of gratitude. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church on earth, that she may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the community of our nation, that we may protect the rights of minority groups. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work in hospitals and nursing homes, that they may use skill with compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may humbly thank God for the gift of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died with Christ, that they may live and reign with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. And we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Bountiful Father, hear the prayers of your people who thank you in the perfect way by offering the Holy Eucharist. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for all those who have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With hearts full of gratitude to the Lord, let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment with which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa ngayong linggong ito. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta dito sa Manila Cathedral at sa atin pong mga kasama sa pamamagitan ng live streaming ng misang ito. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for being part of our online community, especially to those who are joining us through DWIZ IZTV. Maraming salamat din po sa lahat ng tulong, donasyon na inyong pinadadala sa Manila Cathedral para suportahan ang ating mga misyon. Maraming salamat din po sa mga naglingkod sa ating misang ito, sa ating mga Manila Cathedral servants and staff sa nag-provide ng ating sign language interpretation. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Ang parokya po ng St. Vincent de Paul sa San Marcelino, Manila ay patuloy na lumalapit sa atin upang humingi ng ating tulong para sa kinakailangang repairs ng kanilang simbahan. Meron po tayong friendship table bago po kayo lumabas sa mga nais pong tumulong sa St. Vincent de Paul Parish, yung pong simbahan sa May Adamson University. At nawa ay pagpalain po tayong ng Panginoon ngayong linggong ito Nawa ay bigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng maraming dahilan para magpasalamat sa Kanya. At sana araw-araw matuto tayong tumanaw ng utang na loob sa Panginoon at sa ating kapwa-tao. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.